Hello guys, so yeah, today I am going to be going through or going through the code to make an app that would tell you how strong and how healthy a good password could be. So I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of what I meant. So when I press preview, or you can press live test, I prefer preview. So whatever I type here, for, for example, if, if I type dolphin, um, hashtag one four five six and if I press check that would be a healthy password but if I took out the numbers then if I press check that would be it'll, it's kind of healthy it's a it's an 8 out of 10 but if I took out the hashtag it would be a 4 out of 10 so as you can see it's dropped immediately because it's just dolphin there and then if I took out the capital letter then I'd be def I'll be on two, and if I took out everything, I'd be on zero. I have no password strength. Easy to hack. So this, so this app. I'm just gonna run through the code for this app and see and just see how it corresponds to the app that was made. So first, you need six variables. So you need a variable for the numbers. So, so you took from zero to nine. Then you need um the variables for the hashtag. So remember, only try to only do these ones. So do, so, or uh, on only do these symbols. The, these symbols will be on the on top of the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and it will also be on top of seven and eight. So just don't. Don't do all the numbers, just do those certain numbers and it will help your code quite a lot. So then we go into um we go into like the password. So we have to create a variable for the password. So this variable will shorten our code for us and just make it easier instead of us going into into the into the and getting a new code, a new piece of code and repeatedly doing that when we just have a variable. And we're going to put null next to that. So where you get null was from logic and you'll find it right on the bottom. And to create these variables, just go into here and get this one. And then if you want, if you want this, go into the text and just attach that. So the next one would be the score. So you know how it was rating the 8, it was rating 10, it was rating 6, it was rating 4, it was rating 10, 0. So all of those ratings are going to be in our score. So as we obviously don't want our score to start off with 10, we want it to start off with 0. So we're just going to go into get that done variable from there and go into math and just get that 0 block and attach it there. So you're I, you're gonna need to create a variable for lower lower cases string. So just the lower cases numbers. So you're gonna again go into the variable, get this, get this, go into text, get get one of the text blocks and type in all the lower case numbers in alphabetical order. You're gonna do this the same thing with uppercase, and you're gonna write them in upper, uppercase from alphabetical order once again. So in my in this one, uh, I put a reset button. It's your choice if you don't want to put a reset button. I prefer to put one though. So in the reset button, you want to set your um your you want to set your score to zero. You want to set your label one score, text to zero. So you want to set. So when I when I said score, the slider the slider will go to zero, and then the text which it appeared telling the number that is also going to appear go to um zero. The text input text would be blank, so it's just going to be blank like this, and the slider's value would be zero. So. Um, the app variable, uh, I'm going to set my, again, uh, I'm just going to repeat this one more time. I'm going to set the app variable score to zero as I want it to start from zero only. Then I want to set the slider's value to zero as well. And I want to set the app variable password 
um, to the text inputs text. So I want I I don't want the I don't want it to judge on something else. I don't want it to judge the password on something else. I just want it to judge it on text inputs one. So whatever he types in here, I want it to judge on that only. So then I go. I scroll down and you go into loops, so you go into um, control and you get this count with loop and then you go into text, get the length of ABC and put it right after that one and then go into variables, get the um, app variable password and attach it to where the ABC bit was and then do just by one at the end. So. Um, so you want this to you, so if if the if there is a lower if the password contains a lowercase in the variable um, so what it says here, what it's just some I'm just going to sum up what it's saying here. So in my password, if there is a lowercase letter um, in the password, and if that is true. If there is one, then change the app variable score by two. So put two, so you get two points for that. And then you want to break the loop out immediately, or else you'll keep on adding two because there'll be multiple numbers of lowercase in your letter. So keep on adding two, keep on adding two, and that's not what we want. So then we're going to cap. Then we get and then. I found it easier just to copy paste this, so click on the count with loop and press, press the um, control and C at the same time on your keyboard and and then um, just copy it and then press control V and then just put it and then you'll get, um, you'll get the exact same code and just place it underneath and the only changes you're really going to make here is instead of lower case string you're just going to put uppercase string and you get and everything else should be the exact same to be honest that's it that's the only change you would need to make and then you do this one more time but this one this time it would be the numbers so again you just change this to the numbers instead of uppercase or lowercase if it's true you add, you're going to add another two points so after you've broken out of the numbers, you want to go into the symbol. So if it contains at least one symbol, um, you it um it and if this is true, then you should add two. And remember, for all of these, you want to break out the loop because if there is two uppercase letters and you don't put the breakout loop, it would add four points, not two points. So yeah, so you just want to break out the loop as as soon as you finish the code. So remember to keep that in, it's very important. So if the length of the um, variable password is uh, equal to or above, so you'll get this, you'll find it that, the, that means equal to or above eight, change the app variable score by two. So again, I'm adding another two. And the length of the app variable password, so if, if my app variable password, so if I have nothing in there, and it was like the plain one that I just typed nothing in there, like this, for example. Oh, my PC is running away. Sorry, my bad. So if there is, if I just have nothing in and I press check, then I want a zero. So I'm just going to go into the code and, and I'm going to make sure that I keep a zero over there. So it should be the length of that variable password. If there is only zero, then set the app variable score to zero. And and also set the label scores to the app variable score. So you want the label one score to change upon the app variable score, and you want the sliders value. You want the slider value to change upon the app variable score. So if I want to, I if the app variable score is two, I want the label one score to show it's two, and I want the slider value to show it's two. So yeah, it's this simple guys, so you just need to try copying this and get an understanding, the main part is get an understanding of how to use this code, and you can create many others like many other apps like this, and if you do have any doubts, please put in the comments below, and also make sure, and also make sure that if you have any other ideas, also put them in the comments below. So I hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, yeah, till then.
see you.